I, I think this is a, as someone who markets real estate, you know, this is a classic example of a property that has been muddled and the brand has been lost and it's been stigmatized. And that has occurred over a period of years. There's no one in particular to blame for it. There have been a lot of initiatives to try and turn it around and bring it into uh, a, a, a fit, fit a, uh, a, a square peg uh, into a round hole, and it hasn't worked. And I think the, the real situa the, the reality here is that you have to have radical surgery for this property. And that, that involves rebranding it, that involves reconfiguring it, and it involves spending some money on it. And that's the only thing, I'm not, I don't have a specific plan as to how that would happen, but I think that um, it's just been written off by a lot of people, unfortunately. And there have been steps made to try and look at West Wisconsin Avenue to, to rebrand it, and I think those are all very positive steps. But this requires radical surgery, and I think the first acknowledgement there is that there is a disease, and that is that the urban mall is done. It's done just as much as the Northridge Mall, which is not on this list, is done. It's over, and we need to start anew. The development groups. I was on a panel two weeks ago that was put on by LISC. There's some real strong ones in the community. What we need is a community development group, a partnership, like the Menominee Valley Partners, on West Wisconsin Avenue. And I call on the neighbors of that area, the Zilbers, the Wisconsin Energies, the Marcuses, and the Wisconsin Center, the Convention Center, it's a big, big player in that market, to get together, form a development group in the neighborhood, talk to whoever's got the property, now it's in foreclosure, and the last thing we want to do is to them to sell it to a bottom-feeding mall developer, because you're going to have nothing but shoe stores for the rest of your life in there. There's got to be some vision, and somebody's got to pull it together, and I ask the neighbors who live in that area to take charge. Mike, any additional thoughts? No more shoe stores? <laughs> Gary's always good at committing other people's money. Um, I'd just like to remind everybody that Joe Zilber was the only real estate developer that contributed to the development of the original mall, and we're very proud of the fact that we stood up at that time. We continue to be involved. Uh, Gary's got a point. There is a way to do this. Uh, I think this is one of those where the city is going to have to uh, exercise some leadership too. The key player in this is Bank of America. They've got the ultimate play. Uh, so, you know, how we get to them and how we do it. Uh, the people at Common Ground went to the annual meetings of the banks and maybe that's what we have to do. Uh, uh, go to their annual meeting and say, hey, what are you going to do with them all and see what they do in front of all their shareholders.